Not long now and you'll have a ceiling. Wonderful. Then we will no longer have to hold our services in the crypt. You could even begin to plan the paintings for the wooden ceiling and the walls. Why a wooden ceiling? So the whole thing goes up in flames again? Philip decided on that because it's cheaper. And these walls can only hold the weight of a wooden ceiling. I love you like a brother, Alfred, but the apprentice shouldn't have to tell the master craftsman things like that. Jack, for once, focus on your work and finish it. Just for once. Or you'll stay an apprentice for the rest of your life. Don't argue again. Alfred is right. This is a house of God. <sighs> All right. Now, where were we? You could start planning the paintings for the ceiling, if you wish. Can we afford that at the moment? We are paying so many workers already. Father Philip. Tom Builder. Alfred. Ah, oh, Aliena. How are you? I'll be moving my wool to Shiring today. The Fleece Fair starts tomorrow. Ah, I almost forgot. Milius and I have already arranged everything. We'd make much more of a profit if Percy Hamley had not raised the taxes this week. Again? Oh. Jonathan, you shouldn't wander off. Stay with us. Tom is right. You hear? He looks like a real monk. Omnius Pluvius. Nominee Patri Amen. That sounds like Latin, but it's not quite right yet. We would not have to worry about this if we could sell our wool here on our market. The king would have to grant us a license for that. And the Hamleys wouldn't like that, I'm afraid. They want the taxes from the fair in Shiring. Don't worry. We'll make a good profit. It's a good year. We've never moved this much wool as it is. Uh, oh, and I have to build a new storage house. Alfred is a master craftsman now. If you can pay him, he'll help you. Ah, very good. If she hadn't a business of her own, I'd hire her to work for me. <laughs> she is something. She would make me a good wife. Hey! Hey, take that back! <laughs> what? What did I say? For the last time, stop your quarreling! Philip, let's look at the plans again. There's a problem I have to discuss with you. All right. Take that back, Alfred. Jack, leave him alone. And for once, finish your work. And Jack, please keep an eye on Jonathan, will you? What? Why me? <laughs> finish your work, Jack. <laughs> That's how it always was. But on that day, I didn't care. On that day, I was going to see Aliena. And I was going to tell her how I felt. And nothing and no one would stop me.
Yes! I bet there are more nests around. Hey, little brother. <laughs> I hope you appreciate that I look out for you. I ate a beetle. <laughs> Don't tell Philip, all right? It's our secret. <laughs> Come on, let's have fun. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, I can. Come on, Philip said you can't. You have to work. I know what they said. I was there, you know. Ah, Philip and Tom won't mind if we take a break. Sometimes people say one thing and mean another thing. Either he's stopped listening or he's thinking about it. It's gone. But where did it go? Hmm. There must be some kind of cavity behind that wall. The foundations and the whole crypt were part of the old cathedral. Who knows what secrets are hidden down here? Ugh. It's gone. If I break something, I'll have to pay for it. Found that out the hard way. Philip says he's only resting. <laughs> if Adolphus ever wakes up, he'll be in for quite a surprise. He's a long way from home. I wonder if I'll ever get to see a faraway place like Cordoba. up there? Yeah, Jack. Now piss off. <laughs> Watch your language, Jack. Hey, what did I do? Right, the wall is already coming apart and Alfred wants to put a stone ceiling on top instead of a wooden one. <sighs> Idiot. Jonathan, don't run off. Don't worry, he's here. Ah, great. Thank you, Martha. And no, I don't have time to watch him. Oh, damn. Oh, no! It's all broken! <laughs> the sounds of the market. Shouldn't you be working, Jack? Eh, maybe I should go before I buy anything. Watch where you go, will you? Now it's come to that. Even the monks step on my chickens. So, how's business? All well? More and more people keep coming here. 
Yesterday, there were two dozen merchants from Shiring alone. You exhausted? Pretty much. But the Priory made a lot of money. Seems the Earl just raised the taxes at his market, so they all came here instead. Now they've all returned to Shiring for the Fleece Fair. Is the Earl asking lower taxes at the Fleece Fair? On the contrary. From what the merchants told me, it's even worse. So they all have to trade their wool there, including Aliena and the Prior. But you need a license to do a fleece fair, and only Shiring has one. Are you not going to the fleece fair in Shiring? No. Philip asked me to supervise the market here. So now you're working with Philip and Aliena? I know. It's a lot of work. But we all want the same thing, after all. And what's that? To keep this place in good shape. This is our home. Yeah, I guess. You should be working too. I'm just taking a break. Do you want to buy some of this fine cloth, Jonathan? Great idea. I could make you a red robe. Or a blue one. No. <laughs> no, that would be silly now, wouldn't it? What is the colour that monks wear? Brown and black and grey. How do you get along with Alfred? He usually only talks to me when he wants me to cook for him. Why would you keep cooking for him? He doesn't have a wife. And he's my brother. I wouldn't ask you to cook for me. Jonathan wouldn't either, and he's your brother too. Jack, no one's supposed to know. Don't worry. He's a little monk. He is everyone's brother. Did you see Aliena? Hmm. Maybe she was heading home. I think she's expecting a visitor. A visitor? Do I hear jealousy in your voice? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Aliena went home. Could be. I know she's expecting a visitor. Maybe I should get going. Oh, before I forget, I have a message for you. I think Ellen wants to talk to you about Papa. What's there to talk about? Tom doesn't believe I can be a builder. That's not true. That's what she wants to talk about. Papa knows what you can do. He told her. Oh, did he? Yes. He's complicated. He is. On days like this, you can almost get lost here. The Hamleys would be breaking the agreement we had with King Stephen. All I know is that suddenly the quarry master wants us to pay for stone. And the verderer of Shoot Forest now insists we pay for timber. The verderer and the quarry master both claim that they act on orders from the Earl of Shiring. If our workers find out, they'll get nervous. And rightly so. Of course, this is a terrible problem. It is. I can assure you that we will be safe for the next few weeks. I've planned ahead for a case like this. You have? There are always bound to be shortages. We can pay our workers and there's enough stone and timber for a month. If it weren't for you, we'd be lost now. But our problem remains. I must talk to the Earl. Indeed. But first, we need to talk to the workers. They need to know. I agree.